Yeah, right, guys, Gary, aka Hopeless, here again. I hope everyone is safe and well, and uh, I guess enjoying this lockdown stuff. Stay safe, stay home. That's what I'm saying on the, the news and the adverts. Um, yeah, I managed to do a bit of painting. And uh, in this video, I painted the Burrows and Badgers Mole Warrioress, and I actually got her for Christmas from my girlfriend and my daughter. Um, just obviously with moving and everything, not really had much time to do stuff. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get that. Oh, I've got a 3D printer over there as well. That's quite nice. Don't have any resin for it, but um, yeah, as soon as that arrives, I'll learn how to use it. Back to uh, what the video is about, though. Uh, let's uh, let's have a look and see what I did. So uh, hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy the video, as always, please do leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you like it. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get more of these done now. Well, until everything goes back to normal and we'll go back to work and then we'll deal with that when it comes. But do it. See you a bit. Before I start recording, I primed the model with black matte surface primer from Green Stuff World and then went over with a Xenophil highlighting with a Liquitex white or titanium white. Because I quite like uh, how it comes out. And then I started on a fur, which was Games Workshop's Contrast, and this was Space Wolf Grey. I did think about going for uh, uh, Black Contrast, Black Templars even, um, but I kind of just wanted the mold to look a bit different. I went through all the fur, it comes out quite nicely as it is, to be fair. For all of the uh, pink fleshy areas, so hands, feet and nose. Um, I went for Gilliman's Flesh and I think it works quite well over the, uh, the, the the white ink. Comes out quite nice, pale, not too strong. Looks pretty much like a mole's skin. Best way for me to put it. And for the leather belt and the straps holding the sword scabbard on her back, I decided to break out the snakebite leather contrast paint. And then for the tunic, I went with an acid green from Instar Paints. Uh, this is part of their Alpha range. Quite like it. Nice bright green, although eh, it might be a little too bright. A little bit later on, I do go over it with a, a wash to try and dull it down a bit. And once it dried, I did go over it with a second coat just to try and even it out. I do like the Alpha range. It does go down really nicely, really smoothly. Uh, just needed it to be a little bit thicker on the on this one. But that might have just been me not mixing it up properly before we started. Sticking with Instar and the Alpha Range uh, for the cloak, I went with blush pink. I let the first coat dry and I noticed that uh, much like the acid green, the black was coming a bit through a bit too much from the one coat I did, so I gave it a second coat to, to thicken it up a bit. And then while that was drying, I broke out the snake bite lever again because I realised I hadn't done these little armour bits on the forearms and I cannot think for the life of me what they were called. So I wanted to have a nice sort of mix of leather and metal. Um, yeah, snake bite lever, back out again, always good. And then went back to Instar with their metallic range, and this was antique bronze. Uh, so I went over the uh, metal trim on the wrist guards and the shoulder pe uh, shoulder panels, shoulder blades, shoulder armor, pauldrons. I think that's right, pauldrons. Don't quote me on that. 
And yeah, I, I do quite like the Instar metallic range. Um, well, I better do, I've got them all. Uh, yeah. I think it comes out quite nicely. And then I remembered there was a belt buckle and a cloak clip, so, uh, yep. Antique bronze. And then I started work on the sword and shield, and that was another Instar metallic paint. Uh, that's aged silver. Which, uh, yeah, eventually you will see. I'm still getting used to this new setup. There it is. And while waiting for that to dry, I decided to have a crack at the eyes. Um, we all know eyes are not my strong point. Uh, if they go well, they do go really well. If they don't, I kind of cock it up. Uh, I used Instar Alpha Deep Red for these. And you know what? It, it actually came out alright. I didn't go too much on the details, so I just coloured in the, the, uh, the eyeballs red. And then I started working on the sheath to the sword and contrast paint Wildwood. Different shade of brown, which are. Uh, yeah, I like. I like. Uh, next up, I used Instar Alpha's Pure Black and their Water Plus um, additive. Uh, in my head, I was trying to like really heavily thin down the uh, the black. Not so it was going to cover the tunic or the cloak; it just sort of dirty it up a bit. And I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Watching the video back, um, it does look like it doesn't work too well, but looking at the model in my hand right now, I think it dried alright. Would I do it again? Not too sure. But, always like to learn and experiment in these new things. So yeah, pure black, Instar Alpha, and Water Plus. And because I was a little bit of a dumbass and glued the model straight onto its base without working out what I was going to do to decorate the base, um, I just very quickly threw on some milliput uh, around the model itself to make a sort of muddy ground effect, and then threw some static grass on there. Um, oh, and then painted it. That was a uh, gore grunter for the mud, and then just a bad and black for the trim of the base itself. But in any case, that is that is the finished model. This is the Mole Warrior S from, for Burrows and Badgers from Oathsworn Miniatures. I did enjoy painting this one. It was nice to have something to get me back into the swing of things. And it also gives me a chance to work out the recording setup that I currently have going on. Uh, a few tweaks and I think it'll be there. Um, that's really the end of the video. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, do leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, trust me, I will be back as soon as I can with another video very shortly. So until then, stay safe and uh, see you in the future. See ya!